welcome back to the channel. So today I'm planting 25 Eastern White Pines that I purchased from K-State Horticulture Program. They only cost, with shipping, at least this year, 2022, $3 a piece, so $75 for 25 of them. And I'm going to plant them along this, um, in a row, along these woods here. On the other side of these woods is where I will eventually build my house. These woods are only about 25, maybe 30 feet thick. And in the winter time, you'd be able to see my house. So hopefully in about 20 years, I will have a row of evergreen eastern white pines. So even in the winter time, people on the busy street behind the camera won't be able to see into the back of my house. So these are planted in small pots. So I dug a hole about a foot wide and about a foot deep which is a good amount size bigger than what this pot is. And the way I like to start is I like to put, for a tree this size, I like to put about 10 pounds of composted cow manure in the bottom of the hole. And then I take the tree and pull it out of the pot. And you can see all the roots. It's a nice, healthy tree. Put the tree into the ground and the top of the root ball you want to be even with the growing surface that you have and then i backfill the hole with the native soil you don't want to have any air pockets around the root ball And then with the extra soil, since we added 10 pounds of cow manure, I like to take the extra soil and kind of build a berm or a dam on the low side of this tree. That way in the future, when I water this tree, the water doesn't just run down this little hill, it stays with this tree. Or when it rains, more water gets to this tree instead of just running down the hill. The next thing I like to do is take a piece of weed block that I've already cut a hole in the middle of and I pull the tree through the hole. If the tree has any low branches, make sure you pull those branches through the weed block also so they don't get stuck on the bottom side of the weed block. And then I take mulch and I just cover the and then you don't want to have too much mulch around the tree itself because you don't want to suffocate the tree you just want to suffocate any weeds that try to grow that looks good and now even though it's fall time it's still about 85 degrees today and it hasn't rained for several weeks so I will water this tree today and I will continue to water this tree until we get into winter time and it starts raining or snowing on a regular basis. In the springtime here, it rains enough so I won't have to water these trees. And next summer, I will water these trees uh, about twice a week, every week that it doesn't rain. And I will continue doing that. I'm going to plant the rest of these trees, 25 in total. And then I will show you how they all look. And uh, I will give you updates as uh, the years go by. Okay, so I have all 25 planted now. I'll show you the first 22 in this row.
and I will get measurements on these and over the next several years I'll make update videos probably once a year and I'll re-measure them at that time and document the growth rate now from all my research the first two years now these eastern white pines will not grow that much up top they're mainly be growing their roots their root system down below for the first two years and then on year three is when I can expect to see a good amount of growth on the branch structure from then on. Here's one of the taller ones of the group. And that's 20, and then it turns them this direction, my property line does. And I have two more growing over here. And then I'll just show you some quick pictures of the other three that are growing on the interior of my property, closer to where the house will be. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will subscribe and follow along on this journey. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you would, hit the like button so it pushes this video out to more people on YouTube's algorithm. And I'll see you in the next video.